Hey, Wit. Hey. Wait. You're not Miss Wit. No, we're not. Who's here? Hi, guys. It's Miss Erica. It's good <gasps> to see you. Yeah, Miss Wit. She had a play date with Olivia, and it's running a little long, so she asked if I could help out. Oh, Miss Wit. Wow. Well, how lucky are we? This is great, Miss Erica. We're learning about King Solomon. Oh, my Do you goodness. think you can help teach us today? Of course, I would love to. Oh, good. Why don't you uh, Why don't you open us in a word of prayer? I would love to. Okay, let's bow our heads, fold our hands, and close our eyes. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this Sunday that we can come and learn about you. We ask that you would help us learn and know that we can worship you in all circumstances. We love you. In your name, amen. Amen. All right, gang, let's get started with our memory verse. Hey, preschoolers, let's do our memory verse. Oh, hey, we're, we're missing Miss Megan. Let's call her in. Miss Megan. Hey, We are going to go over our memory verse for the month, and the verse comes from Psalm 29, 2, which says, Worship the Lord with holiness. So when we say, Worship the Lord, we're going to put our hands up to the sky, oh, just like, like this, with just like oh, that. Okay. Good job. And when we bring our hands back down, we're going to fold them like this, and we're going to say, In holiness. In Holiness. Good job, Miss Megan, and great job, preschoolers. Yeah. Let's put it all together, and okay. when we do it, we're gonna do it two times, okay? Here we go. Okay. Worship the Lord in holiness. Psalm 29, 2. Let's try it one more time. Okay, okay, okay. Worship the Lord in holiness. Psalm 29, 2. Great, guys. Yeah. Preschoolers, don't forget to practice this memory verse each day this week, all right? Oh, we need to go to do our lesson. Our lesson time! Let's go! Let's go. Yay. The Bible is God's special book. Open it and take a look. In it are God's words so true. He wrote them for me and you. The Bible is God's special book. Open it and take a look. Great job, preschoolers! Hey, we've been learning about a great and wise king in our lessons this month. Who can tell me the name of this king? Oh, King Solomon! Oh, that's right, Miss Erica! His name is Solomon! Now, last week we learned the temple that King Solomon and his men had been working on was finally finished! The Israelites yeah. worship the Lord in instruments, songs, and giving thanks! Do you remember how the Lord appeared when he entered the temple? That's right! He appeared as a cloud. The Bible tells us that Solomon told the Lord, I have built a wonderful temple for you, a place for you to live forever. Then Solomon turned to the people and reminded them of how the Lord took care of them and allowed Solomon to build a place of worship. Yeah. Then Solomon faced the altar and began to pray. Can you pray? Put your hands like this. Perfect. Now Solomon thanked God for keeping his promises and for being greater than any other. Solomon asked God to continue to watch over them and to hear their prayers. He asked God also to forgive them for the bad choices and to teach them to do what is right. The Bible tells us when Solomon was finished praying, fire came down from the sky and burned up the sacrifices. When the people saw this, they bowed before the Lord. They worshiped and thanked the Lord. The people were happy because the Lord had been so good to them. The Lord then appeared to Solomon at night and reminded him that he must obey God's rules and worship only God. King Solomon worshiped the Lord by praying. Hey, Miss Erica, we can worship him by praying too. How cool is that? When we worship the Lord, we show him that we love him. Praying is another way we can worship God. I'm so thankful that God hears our prayers. Me too. I'm glad we can pray to God. Let's say our heart print together. Ready? I can worship the Lord. Good job. Let's end in prayer, okay? Bow our heads, close our eyes, fold our hands. Dear God, thank you so much for King Solomon. And thank you for giving King Solomon wisdom. 
And Lord, we thank you that we can learn to worship you too. God, help us to worship and obey you, to keep your commands and to do what is right in your eyes. We thank you, God, in your name, amen. Amen. <gasps> I think I feel some music. <gasps> Me some too. Oh, should we go sing? Let's go sing again. Oh, hey. Come on, guys. song about King Solomon. Now, we will sing the song to the tune, Where is Thumpkin? You know that song? Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am! Here I am! <laughs> That's a silly song. But instead, we will sing, I Can Worship. Now, when we say that we will, we're going to point to ourselves and then lift our hands up to God. Then we will put our hands above our heads like a crown. Yeah, shiny crown. Good. And say, God, my king. Good. Next, we will fold our hands like we are praying and then shake our hands in the air to praise God. Great job. Let's put it all together. Are you ready? Let's do it. I can worship, I can worship God my King, God my King, bowing down before Him, praise Him and adore Him, God my King, God my King. Good job, let's sing it one more time. Are you ready? I can worship, I can worship God my King, God my King, bowing down before Him, praise Him and adore Him, God my King, God my King. That was so fun! I love that! So fun to worship God just like that. Good job, guys. Yeah. Good job, preschoolers. Hey, great job singing. And the party's not over. You have a coloring page. Go tell your parents to print that off for you. Color it all over. Put it on your refrigerator. Put it in your bathroom. Put it somewhere. And remind yourself that we can worship God all the time. And hey, it keeps going. We have our animated video lesson and then some more worship songs. Bye, friends. Shop today. Bye.